Hey, it's Brickzar, and we're going to finally look at the Lego store set. I finally got one. It's set 3,300,003, 280 pieces, one sticker, no minifigures. It is a model of the Lego store. I believe these were giveaways uh, at Lego store openings. I was not able to make my store opening, uh, or a store that is relatively closer to me um, in Alpharetta when it opened because I was on vacation at the time and I probably wouldn't have got it anyway. But, um, and I don't, I doubt there'll be any Lego store opening anywhere near me in the near future since there are two now in the metro Atlanta area. So this is one that I decided to buy on Bricklink and I have built it and I wanted one with the box. Uh, most of the parts in here are relatively common. Uh, I actually even had the sticker already uh, from a Bricklink order that I bought in a, while, a while back, but um, it's uh, not really yeah, much rare. The uh, Some of the light pieces, the one-by-one -one trans clear round tiles, those are a little unusual. And you got the headlock bricks that go in here for the door. So let's take a closer look at our Lego store. Now this has no opening doors. It's uh, just plain white on the back. And then the roof comes off, and you can look in the store. Now, first, before I get into the interior, we'll look at the this. These are those one by one round trans clear pieces. I think that's to let light in. I talked to a employee at the Lego store about lighting. He said fluorescent light is a killer for Legos. It's what makes your Lego fade, and that's what I have down here in my basement. And he recommends using LED lighting if you can. They have pick a brick containers or they have display bricks that are kind of like behind the pick-a-brick wall in that Lego store and they've been there forever and they are not faded at all so um, LED lights he highly recommends so I'm gonna look into that or find in some kind of filter so anyway here in our Lego store we got the pick-a-brick wall in the back what's your favorite thing to find on the pick-a-brick wall I like finding tiles and one by one elements um, mainly uh, light gray tiles dark bluish gray tiles and unusual colors um, bricks not so much because usually they're not as good a value but it is cheap cheaper than the online pick brick then here on the sides we got the um, sets lining the wall you got your little, little hole things where you can look at different um, mocks that they usually put in there and this wall is identical to the other wall. You got your register there. And of course, a key feature is here. I'll take it out. Well, I don't want to take it out. Can't see it, but it's a, um, it's two one by two plates and they're set up to be like the giant uh, signature red two by four brick that is always in the Lego stores. There's another display case there and you got some sets on the end. I think that's some kind of Star Wars set. That's what I'm thinking. Like a ship. I may be wrong. And then this one over here looks like a tree house or the um, one of the creator houses. And you got some plants on the outside here. Of course, this is not minifigure scale. These doors do not open. That's the sticker piece I mentioned before. So that's all there is to it. There's not a lot to it. And it's it can be built from fairly common pieces. I mean, they cram a lot. There's 280 pieces in there. Probably not quite 280 because you got these pieces over here left over. But I, I wanted to get one with the instruction manual. I'll show you the piece count. Let me move it. So if you freeze your picture here, you can look and see what parts you need to build it. I haven't checked online. You can usually go to lego.com and search for the instructions and they have instructions for sets that are available now and even some vintage sets, but um, I haven't checked this one. I know with the Lego duck, I thought it would have been on there, but it wasn't. And I'm not going to be going through the trouble of scanning these instructions. Uh, you will find the instructions after they've been discontinued on usually on Brick Factory, but because of um, copyright infringement, I think, they're, they're not allowed to post stuff 
uh, until it's been discontinued, I believe. I believe that's how it works. Um, so I'm not going to be posting anything myself either because I don't want to get in trouble with Lego. But they do allow it after uh, they're no longer producing. And, uh, that's, that's my understanding. I could be wrong on that. But um, that is the parts list. So there you go. Oh, I should show you the box too. Uh oh, sorry, dude. Um, there it shows you um, without the front of the the building being on there, what it looks like on the inside. A little better view. It's kind of hard to see when it's assembled. That's one thing I don't like about it. It's like you can't really see through the glass that good. But that's my Lego store. That's mine. I'm not going to sell it. I'm going to put it over with my other sets that I collect. And just thought I'd show it to you. And thanks for watching. Please be sure to comment below. Tell me what you think about the Lego store. Do you have one? Did you get it for free? And that, that's pretty good if you get it for free. I did not get mine for free. I brought it. I bought it on Bricklink. Uh, and, and they're going for a lot now on eBay. Um, all the eBay prices were a little bit high but i wanted to get one before they started getting into the hundreds of dollars so i got i got this one so anyway that's my lego store set three million three hundred thousand and three i like saying the numbers that way thanks for watching this is bricks are